Hello YouTubers, this is brand new tech class X98 Air 3G, Ryan Windows 8.1. I recently refreshed it from Android and it runs Half-Life 2 as you can see. Um, you can see it runs from USB sticks so it lags someone sometimes, uh, stuttering, st stutters sometimes. I connected to uh, USB stick, uh, mouse and keyboard uh, with one USB hub. We can see 48 FPS, that is good, but I uh, lowered down the graphics to a minimum. You can see how it runs. Starters, but if I'll upload upload the half life on internal memory, it won't stutter. It runs really smooth. That's enough for Half-Life 2. You can see that it runs as well. I think we have to run some other benchmarks. I prepared one interesting benchmark. It's called HW Info32. It can test uh, CPU, memory, etc. Here is benchmark. So let's run multi threaded benchmark. Oh, <clears throat> very fast. Let's see the CPU benchmark comparison. Well, this is a nice result, really. It is somewhat about... Uh, it is a little faster than Xeon 3800 in HD. It is faster than dual-core Xeon uh, in CPU benchmark. In FPU benchmark, it is not so good. It is about... Uh, single core Athlon 643200 plus, but this is not so bad for uh, a very ultra mobile device such like this table. And the mix benchmark is uh, is also about Xeon 3800 memory. Memory is good too, is not so bad. So you can see this tablet really value for money. Next, I would run Vinrar internal benchmark, integrated benchmark. Well, I can see one interesting thing. On Android, it wasn't so smooth. Android really seems to be laggy uh, on this tech last Chinese tablet. Uh, but but uh, on web experience, uh, I think that uh, only IE11 can provide really good uh, responsiveness, really good uh, scrolling 
frame rate, uh, smooth scrolling, uh, but not Chrome. I'll show you. Uh, oh, it was about the, this test bench uh, in WinRare was about 1600. This is not uh, slower than on Android. So Windows provides really a good performance. But personally, I don't like Windows 8.1. It is really stupid, especially these Metro apps. I don't know even how to use this. Uh, maybe something like that. Uh, stupid, really stupid. Mm. Let's let's show you how it runs uh, web site. I'll show you <coughs> with my fingers that it is really smooth. Really. I like this web experience. Really. Android was about twice slower in uh, JavaScript than Spider benchmark. Android was about was about 700 I don't know I don't remember exactly but now I'll show you how Sunspider runs on IE 11 and uh, Windows 8.1 this is really good tablet really mm, worth its money there are some issues, uh, but but almost every issue can be fixed. Four hundred sixty-five milliseconds. This is really good. And Chrome. It is not so smooth. I don't know why. I believe this is because of new Windows eight point one APIs, uh, which are not so popularized as uh, previous APIs such like GDI Plus. Uh, I believe this is because of uh, uh, new APIs in Windows 8.1. It is really not so smooth, you can see it stutters, it is lagging, very unpleasant to use. And also Sunspider benchmark runs significantly slower. Well, you can see it is about twice slower, uh, 800 milliseconds against uh, 400 milliseconds, something like that, about twice slower. Well, uh, touching experience uh, is really impressive. I don't, li I don't want to say that uh, I make so much mishits. Mm, it is uh, very, very good, I suppose. Well, I'll show you another benchmark, CPU Complex Analyzer. This is old, but very, very good benchmark I used to use it. It really shows performance uh, in single core, in single threaded performance, which really matters even more than multi-threaded performance, because most of applications, games, are uh, using only one core. And you can see 10,000, which is about 
which is about the same as Pentium 4, which is about the same as Pentium 4, uh, 2.6 gig gigahertz. Uh, so this is not so bad for uh, such mobile thing like tablet. So I hope you enjoyed that I reviewed reviewed this and thanks for watching.